Hey, what's up, everyone? The Great Dansby here, bringing you a gameplay with the dual wield Caparasis on Summit. One thing I have to tell you about these guns is they absolutely suck. I would not advise anyone using these things. They're just absolutely atrocious. Quad! Okay, let me, now that I got that out of the way. Alright. So, um, I think I'm running with Scavenger, Steady Aim Pro, and Tac Mask Pro. Pretty much run with Tac Mask Pro in all my classes now because, you know what? It's anti bullshit. He can't hit with stuns and flashes, and you know what? You probably, people know all these things already, so never mind. Um, I have to run steady game with these dual wheel things because they're a piece of shit and if you want to have a chance of killing anybody that's even even slightly out of uh, shotgun range, you need to have steady aim on. Scavenger you have to run as well because these things run through ammo. They only have 20 round clips and as you know, the, uh, the guns that only have 20 round clips, they start with almost no ammo. I don't understand why they, they did that in this game. They make these guns very weak, the 20 round clip ones. And they, they give them no ammo, so there's really no reason to use them other than dicking around like I am, you know, try to keep the game fresh. But, you know what, at this point, you don't even need to keep the game fresh. This game is old as shit at this point, and, you know, we have Modern Warfare 2 come Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 coming out in less than two weeks. I'm pretty excited for it. Curious to see how, um, curious, bleh, I can't even get my fucking words out. Anyway, um, curious to see how excited you guys are about it, like, I wasn't too excited, you know, weeks weeks ago, but now that I'm seeing all these things prestiging, prestige shop, and uh, it's making me think, like, hmm, maybe I will be interested in this game. Um, they put Flak Jack and Attack Mask Pro in the same tier with the Blast Shield if you pro it out, which makes me really happy. Um, I don't know, I'm, I think the game is going to be really good, but, you know, we, will, we shall see, you know. The first two months or so, the game will probably be fun to fun to play, and then uh, people are gonna probably start to find bullshit in the game, just like they did with Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops, which both of those games were really fun when they first came out. But Modern Warfare 2 had so many fucking hacks and glitches; it was just unplayable at times. Like I don't know if you guys remember the uh, the care package glitch, but it was it was obnoxious. There was a couple of them actually. There was the one where. Uh, you held the care package uh, marker in your hand, you could run at warp speed and people just run around knifing. That was be beyond annoying. And then there was the one where you had unlimited care packages, which was just, the, the game was unplayable. The game was unplayable for something like six to eight weeks. Every lobby you, you went into, you just saw emergency airdrops and care packages just flying in. It was, it was fucking ridiculous. And, um... I really hope that they are better with supporting Modern Warfare 3. I, I know they have the quick fix in the game now, like uh, like Black Ops has. So hopefully, they any problems that do uh, come in the game, they could they actually will patch them, make uh, Modern Warfare 3 enjoyable for more than you know two or three months. I'm not gonna sit here and say I think Modern Warfare 3 is gonna be the best uh, Call of Duty ever, because you know what, it probably isn't going to be. But if this game is supported like Black Ops is supported. I will have lots of fun playing this game. And I'm looking forward to it. Recently, I started to hop back onto the um, Infinity Ward games, Call of Duty 4 and uh, Modern Warfare 2. And uh, I want to hop on Modern Warfare 2 because the engine, from what I hear, is pretty close to uh, the Modern Warfare 2 engine. So if that's the case, I want to get you know accustomed to playing that type of game again. So I popped in Modern Warfare 2 the other day, and um, yeah, that game it's fucking unplayable. Yeah, absolutely on. Playable. It's just noob tubes flying everywhere. I mean, I, and boosting, still boosting. The game is two years old, and people are still boosting for camos, boosting for nukes, um, noob tubing for nukes, danger close. It's just commando. It was just unplayable, and it's it sucks because I want to get used to that engine again. But uh, you know what? It's not worth worth the aggravation of uh, of sitting through that game. It. It, you almost get rewarded for being a shitty player in that game. The painkiller, oh my god. Got painkiller, danger close noob tube the other day. I just shut my Xbox off. Like, fuck this. I I just don't understand how they um, had so. Ooh, double spray. I, they had so many flaws in that game. And to tell you the truth, if they just fixed the flaws, probably would have been the best uh, Call of Duty. Would have been better than Black Ops. And Black Ops is my favorite Call of Duty. Some people are like, I don't have a Call of Duty Black Ops, be your favorite one. It sucks, man. Blop shot it and ghost pitches, and yeah, there are, you know, that shit's in there. But guess what? Um, blop shotting was kind of in Modern Warfare 2 as well, and I believe it was in some of the other Call of Duties. Got blop shotted by a UMP the other day. I thought the guy had final stand on, and then I realized he had Painkiller and Ninja on. So I was like, oh. Okay. 
that didn't make any sense. Painkiller and Ninja? No, not Painkiller and Ninja. He had Painkiller and Last Stand on, so he could have had, um, he could not have had, uh, Final Stand on, so I wasn't hit, I wasn't killed by Final Stand. It was bullshit, and the, uh, the Wanted Bullets, you know, the ones that curve around the corners, yeah, that was in Modern Warfare 2 and COD 4 as well, so, uh, people complaining about that being in this game, well, guess what, it was in the previous ones as well, so, that's nothing new. Uh, Ghost is pretty annoying in this game, but, um, not to, nowhere near as annoying as Danger Glow's noob tubes and RPGs that, that blow up nowhere near you and you die instantly. What annoys you guys more, getting killed by ghost bitches in Black Ops, or getting fucking Danger Close One Man Army noob tube in Modern Warfare 2? I mean, they're both obnoxious, and they both are, you know... Game, well, Ghost isn't game ruining, it's just game slowing. Danger Close is, uh, game ruining, and I, I will not play Modern Warfare 2 ever again because of that fucking piece of shit perk. Which brings me to my next point, and one, one of the reasons why I like Black Ops so much. Flak fucking jacket. Flak jacket is the saving grace of this game. Not getting killed by explosives makes this game so much more fun to play. I hate getting killed by explosives. Explosives and knifing more than anything. Just let me get killed by your bullets. I'd rather be killed by a camper than get killed by a guy with fucking explosive. It's just the most obnoxious thing ever, and I hate that they were so overpowered in the Infinity Ward games. This game, besides, you know, just having flak jacket, they did tone down the explosives in general. Which, uh, it's probably why my KD is much higher in this game. I don't take bullshit deaths. In Black Ops, uh, my final KD is like a, a 2.82. Which isn't that bad, considering that this is, you know, really, this is only the uh, second uh, Call of Duty I got on release date, Modern Warfare 2 being the first. Modern Warfare 2, I held close to a 2 KD in that game, but uh, that was a new game for me. Um, I had only had World at War for a month, because uh, I've only been playing uh, games, you know, on the Xbox 360 for uh, about two, a little over two years now, like two and a half years. I hadn't played video games in a, a very long time, and then my... Uh, my friends uh, turned me on to uh, Call of Duty, and uh, they uh, kind of uh, made a monster there. But yeah, um, what do you guys uh, feel is your favorite Call of Duty? I know most of you are probably going to say COD 4, and COD 4 is fantastic, but that game has its problems too. I I've been trying to play that through the day, and all you do is get into sniper lobbies, get in a quick scope by M40s. It's just. Ugh. Not not fun anymore. Sniper lobbies, uh, not for me. Like uh, I can occasionally get a, you know, when you get against a bunch of players that are absolutely horrible, it's easy. But M40 with ACOG is just easy mode. It adds five damage. You don't even st need stopping power on it. But um, that's the end of the game and the end of this commentary. I pulled a decent score. Let's see when it pops up. Okay, 38, seven, five caps, two defense. I want to see you do better with the Caparis. Later, fools.